Hi friends, it's great to see you today. Today, I want to show you something that you can try with your poems. As you're drafting and revising your poems, you might consider how to display those poems on the page. Some things to consider are how do you want it to look, how do you want it to sound, and what's your message? These three things will help you decide how to display it on the page. Let me show you what I mean. Douglas Florian wrote this poem, Seashells. As you can see, he made the poem a shape poem. It looks like a seashell. Let's read it, and as we read it, think, how does it look? And how does it sound as I read it? And does the words and the shape help the meaning? Let's check. Seashells. Seashells scattered on the shore swept there by the ocean, once held creatures deep inside, creeping in slow motion. Empty seashells cannot creep, cannot leap or reach, but all day long they whistle songs retired on the beach. Hmm, think about how Douglas Florian displayed his poem on the page. He made it a shape and he put one word per line, which made a difference in how we read it. Hmm, let's look at another example. This poem is by T Kelly Dacos. As we're reading it, think, hmm, how did she display it on the page? I live for Jim. I live for Jim. I breathe for Jim. I watch the clock and race to Jim. I'm free in gym to run and play, to try new games and shout hooray. It's in the gym, I feel so good. I'd live there if I only could. Have gym the whole day through, why then I'd always dash to school. Hmm, what are you noticing about how Kelly Dacos has displayed this poem on the page? Hmm, she was really thinking about how did she want it to look how did she want it to sound as the reader read it? And how to contribute or support her message? Let's give it a try. As we try out on two of my poems, be thinking, how do we want it to look? How do we want it to sound when our reader reads it? And is it supporting our message? This poem is about a roller coaster, kind of like life. Sometimes life is like a roller coaster roller coaster roller coaster it twists you around up and down roller coaster roller coaster roller coaster hmm as i'm reading this i want to think hmm does it look the way i want it to look how do i want my reader to read it and what's my message hmm well i definitely am thinking about this part where i repeat roller coaster and roller coaster I think I want it, the words, to look like an up and down roller coaster. So I'm going to do this to remind myself later to recopy it and make it look like a roller coaster. I'm going to do that on this part too. Hmm. Let me see if there's any other parts that I want to change for how I display it on the page. Hmm. It twists you around up and down. I think for this part, I'm going to make my words go up and down like stairs. And then I'll write the words roller coaster like a roller coaster. Did you see how I thought about how do I want my poem to look? How do I want it to sound? And how does it help support my message when people read it? Let's give it a try with another poem. This poem is one I wrote about whales. Hmm, let's see. As we're reading it, think, hmm, do we want to think about how we display it on the page? How does it look? How will it sound when people read it? And does it support my message? Whales are like elephants in the sea, swimming, floating, singing, breathing deep breaths of air. Hmm, how would you
would you display this poem on the page? What changes would you make? You might think about this part, whales are, like elephants in the sea. You may want to add some line breaks. For me, when I think about these parts, swimming, floating, singing, I definitely want to put those on separate lines and put line breaks. So it might look like this. Swimming, floating, singing. So today, as you're writing, drafting, and revising your poems, think about just how you want them to be displayed on the page. How do you want them to look? How do you want them to sound when your reader reads them? And do all of the moves that you make for displaying them support your message? Have fun!